Hello everybody, it's Tim McCamus. We're continuing on with our composite series. To give you an idea of, of some of the differences between fiberglass and carbon fiber, because we get this all the time, we get lots of questions. Okay, I want to buy a body, but you have it available in carbon fiber, you have it available in fiberglass. What's the difference and what's the, what's the difference in weight? What's the difference in strength? What's the difference in the overall makeup, okay? So the gel coat side of it, the paint side of the body, is going to be the same. We're going to use the same gel coat on the on the fiberglass parts that we use on the uh, carbon parts. That's where it stops though. Fiberglass, let's just use a body, any body for instance, and they vary uh, because of the size of the body, but um, it's going to be about double the weight for a fiberglass versus carbon fiber. So just for a basic number, if you if one of our uh, carbon fiber bodies weighs, uh, normally they weigh around 65 to 68 pounds complete um, with all the components, you're going to be around 120 to 130 pounds in fiberglass. So you're going to be double the weight. The strength of the carbon is is much higher. The durability. So. You've got a light, strong part. It's just going to hold up longer. So fiberglass in itself is what we would consider a very resin-rich part. There's a lot. So your fiber to resin ratio, your resin ratio is very high to your fiber ratio, which is the opposite in carbon. So in a in a carbon part, we're going to vacuum bag that down, and we're going to we're going to pull that excess resin out of there, and we're only going to leave a select amount of resin in there to bond that together. But with fiberglass. You, you have to leave it resin rich because you're not going to bag it. You're not pulling that excess resin out of there. So that resin adds weight and resin is not strong. Resin, if you just pour resin out and let it cure, you can pick it up and just break it into crumbs. It's, it's not going to offer any strength at all. So that's some of the disadvantages to fiberglass over carbon. You know, obviously the, the cost is, is considerably different. So your cost savings on a fiberglass body is going to be substantial over a carbon body. But the material and the labor involved in making carbon is what drives the cost up on it. But you get a much lighter, stronger, um, more durable body or component, uh, whether it's a seat or a hood scoop or whatever part of it, we offer them all in two versions. We all, we'll offer it in fiberglass or we'll offer, offer it in carbon fiber. And even in carbon fiber, we offer a standard weight carbon and a lightweight carbon. So, you know, Lightweight carbon, again, it's, it's, it's a whole different layup and it is less material. So strength and durability, your standard weight carbon is going to be your top, but you're sacrificing some weight. You're going to be a little heavier with a standard weight carbon part than you are a lightweight carbon part. So it's all in what you want to do with the car and what you want to end up with, um, whether it's the complete body or a component. The, the carbon bodies, when they're laid up properly, we've tested these bodies. We can build a body that weighs 65 pounds complete with the wing, quarters, doors, front end, every part you need for the body that will withstand air at 270 miles an hour. So uh, we don't get any distortion. We don't get any push or flex or anything. I mean, it's a nice rigid body. Um, Fiberglass, you're not going to get that. You're going to get uh, a little heavier. So when you take the front end off the car, noticeably different. And when it sets out, it's going to be saggy. The hood's going to sag. You know, a carbon uh, hood will set up nice and straight. It won't deflect at all. But a fiberglass front end, the hood's going to sag a little bit. It just doesn't have the rigidity. Plus, it's got the weight on top of it that's hindering it. So there's arguments either way it's what your budget will allow if you if you've got the budget so and we get this asked all the time while well, building a new car uh, they might you know might be buying a chassis and gonna do it yourself and they say okay which body should I get in my opinion if you're gonna if you're taking the time to build that nice of a car the money spent on a carbon body is well worth the investment because you get all the advantages you get the lightweight you get the durability you get the longevity of the carbon Plus, you also get the resale value because you guys aren't going to keep these cars forever. I mean, you're selling them, buying new ones every day. So when you go to resell it, um, a chassis with a carbon body is going to bring more money than it will with a fiberglass body. And after you run that thing for a year, you're not going to see the same stress cracks and, and tears and, and deformities in the carbon as you would in the fiberglass. So that's some of the differences you need to think about when you're purchasing that. And that goes for any component, whether it's a fiberglass hood scoop or a carbon hood scoop. 
fiberglass seat versus a carbon seat. Um, we have unlimited number of variations and all that stuff. So it's just like anything else. You have to weigh out what your budget will allow and what the end goal is for the car.